Okay, I did not record the first part of this quest, so uh, please forgive me. We're just gonna jump into the second part of the quest real quick. <gasps> oh my god, it's Shin Yan! The first time she has appeared at an event and then the story. Hey, oh. Ahoy! Hey, look! Who is she with? Can I change to the Japanese version? I just remembered her English voice acting. Hi, Beto! Hi, Shinyan! Are we interrupting anything? Shang Ling! <laughs> the woman of the hour. We were just talking about you. Oh, oh, Beta was saying you uh. and I should get ourselves on board sometime. Says the whole crew's been asking for us. <laughs> uh, I just don't understand why they gave her a southern accent. She is from, like, the Chinese version of Tabat. Like, there's no southern accent in in China. I mean, like, there is their own, like, dial di not dialect, but, like, Yes, there is a southern Chinese accent, but it's not an American southern accent. I just don't sure. understand. Sure, beats drinking on an empty stomach. Ugh, God. About time. I'm starving over here. Well, let's see what you got. First thing you want to do when you get back on dry land is dig into a nice hot meal that's swimming in oil and has a ton of flavor. That's the exact opposite of Ning Wong's tastes. Oh, sure is. Beto's tastes are pretty similar to mine and Xiang Ling's. Ugh, Ningguang. I am sick of hearing that name. No, you're not. Our tastes couldn't be more different. <laughs> You'll never find us eating the same bowl of food. They're but so in love. Last youngling, they both had pretty strong tastes. You sure that won't be a problem? Shouldn't we get a second opinion from someone with milder tastes? That's a good point. Beto likes her greasy stir fries, and Xinyan can really handle her spice. Yeah, we should get another opinion. Now, who do we know whose tastes are on the mild side? A uh, certain person traveler? comes to Any mind. Any suggestions? Again, and you interrupt me, but it's Who? 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 You know, almond tofu. Oh, right! Makes sense! So, back to Wang Chu In? Who? Who is it? Someone you just missed last time we were there! We can do it right here. Huh? Oh! Paimon remembers! He said that we just need to speak his name, and poof, he'll show up. Um, will he definitely hear us saying his name, though? Maybe we should find somewhere quieter. If I have to interact with, Sh with Shin Yan again, I'm gonna put that shit onto, um, <laughs> onto Japanese. I cannot deal with her voice. Okay, let's take turns shouting his name! Uh-huh. Do I need to do this too? Hyman's going first. Ahem. Am I gonna speak? Um, uh -oh. Nothing's happening. I thought I was gonna speak. Mm, let me try again. Uh, that's weird. Does he not want to hang out with us? I think it's because oh, Xiang Ling is here. So let me get this straight. Some guy with special powers promised you both that you just need to shout his name and he'll show up? Um, well, not both, actually. Just one of us. Yeah, he promised it to me, so let me say it instead of you fucking doing it, Hi, Mom. Oh, right. Well, you should be the one to try it then. My mom clearly just doesn't want to feel left out. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. then. Xiao doesn't fucking like you. I have to do it, and I'm gonna speak this time. Speak, Lumin. Xiao, are you there? You called? Whoa. I didn't get to speak. No! <laughs> oh, he actually came! You spoke my name, did you not? I didn't think that it, it would actually work. When I make you a promise, I will honor it. Blink of an eye and poof! He's there! That's how you know he's an adeptus. An adeptus? Oh, Xiao, was it? Hi there. It was me who asked the traveler to call you here. My name's Youngling. I'm a chef. The traveler says you prefer mild food. Just the kind of person <laughs> I'm looking for. Cool, look if at you don't mind, face. I'd like you to try the dishes <laughs> I've made and tell me your thoughts. We value your opinion, Xiao. <sighs> Since it's you, I will do it. Yay! 
<laughs> um, how is it? Are you sure you can eat it? Don't force yourself. Tastes pretty good. Huh? Really? I can't believe it. An Adeptus says he likes my cooking. If my dad was here, he'd be crying tears of joy. If I had to find fault with something, the two sides are a little strong for my taste. Some minor adjustments would take this dish from excellence to perfection. Just my own opinion. Do not fixate on it. Take it or leave it as you see fit. All right, go easy on the sides. Okay, I got it. Thank you, Adeptus friend. It was really great to meet you. I'll be leaving now. Thank you. See you next time. Bye, Shaw. I still can't believe he actually came. Yeah, because I fucking said so, it. What would happen if we called his name again now? Do you think he'd come back right away? I would love to do that, but Paimon, we're not doing that. Only kind of maybe not really joking. Jeez. Good news. After two rounds of taste testing, I've had an idea on what to do next. Great! Lucky we picked the right people to talk to! I'd better head back and try this out a few times while it's fresh in my mind. Thanks for your help! Oh, and the final is in Yujing Terrace. You better come and watch. Will do! Good luck! <laughs> You'll do great. Hello, Madam King. A child is you, the Blue Chase Festival. Oh. Okay, thank you. I didn't read anything that you said, but thank you for your input. Oh my god! Oh my god! Let me just re oh shit, I went into the cutscene, but oh my god, everyone's here! Welcome everyone to the Masterful Chef's Final! At the appointment of this organizing committee, Hi, I am your host <laughs> and officiator, Yenfei. Hey, Yenfei's here too! Next, please allow me to introduce the judges. There will be a select panel and an audience panel. The three members of the select panel are... The Tianchuan, Lady Ningguang. The Yuheng, Lady Keqing. And last but not least, gourmet connoisseur, Uncle Tian. <laughs> In oh, addition to these so three, cute. ten judges will be chosen from among the audience to sample our contestants' dishes and cast their vote. Okay, without further ado, let the cooking commence. Begin! Time to pull out all the stops! Show everyone why you're the best! Whoop whoop! Go Shen Ling! Traveler! Paimon! Hello! <laughs> Thanks for coming to support me! Don't you worry. I'm going to make this the best tasting dish I've ever cooked. Light it up. Oh Light god, it up. why am I doing first this? First, get the stove on. Oh. Into the fire. Wait, what am I doing? Delicious Uh, I did it? Triple layered consomme is pretty bland to begin with. I can't have two sides with the same texture. But luckily, the organizers have provided some very okay, aromatic salt. broth. It's just a Triple little- Triple layered consomme. Oh, this is so stressful. I didn't know that I actually had to do this. Okay, triple layer consomme. Oh, God. Uh... Ooh, we did it. Joyun Chili Chicken is the main event. Can't afford to compromise too much here, but maybe some pepper will set it apart without. Hey, Joyun Chicken. Oh, this is so stressful. I didn't realize I had to huh? do this. Oh, Yun Xiao. He doesn't look so good. La, la, la. <laughs> Guoba. Guoba. Whoa, whoa, what's this? Hold up. Things are taking an unexpected turn on the Masterful Chef's stage. Sheng Ling's mysterious assistant appears to be aiding her opponent. Judges, are we going to allow this? 
We knew in advance that Xiangling would be accompanied by a mysterious assistant, and the judges agreed that the two could be classed as one individual for the purposes of the competition. But what do we say to this? I take no issue with it. In any case, the assistant hasn't done much in the way of assisting. <laughs> no competition would be complete without a little drama. All a part of being young. I won't be the old fogey that ruins it for them. <clears throat> Please allow me to explain to our host. Prior to the competition, the judges reviewed both contestants, and we can comfortably confirm that neither side is participating in a way that contravenes the competition rules. Xiangling is a highly accomplished chef, and her assistant is more like family to her. Xiangling prepares all of her own dishes herself. All that her assistant will do is occasionally provide a fire source. Given Xiangling's level of culinary skill, the difference between her using firewood or her assistant is a trivial one. I appreciate everyone's concerns. The presence of a mysterious assistant performing strange dance moves to cheerlead for Xiangling is a little unexpected. But the mysterious assistant has now started cheerleading for Smiley Yenxiao too, demonstrating total impartiality. By encouraging both Xiangling and her opponent, they have proven to be a fair supporter. That's right! Well, it's not really outside help. Lola just likes to watch people cook. I'm sure the only reason they went over there is to try to help Yen Xiao feel less nervous. Is Guoba a non-binary queen word. king Guoba royalty? Guoba will not interfere with the competition. And I would also say that it's a loss to the competition if Yen Xiao isn't at the top of his form. I say that as someone who's eaten Yen Xiao's cooking at Wang Shuin before. He is an excellent chef, and I want this to be a competition between the best we both have to bring. I see. Hmm, most amusing. Uncle Tian, what's your opinion? I have no objections. It's an honor and a privilege to see two contestants so dedicated to having a fair and square contest. Hmm, the judges and the officiator accept this explanation. Let the competition continue. Yan Xiao, are you all right? I don't know what's wrong with me. I've never been so nervous in my life. Ah, look, my hands won't stop shaking. Take it easy. I've been there before. I can help. Try saying a tongue twister to yourself in your head. Or think of some happy memories about your dad. Why my dad? That's a bit specific. Because that's what I do. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess I'll think of my mom then. Uh, anyway, you should carry on. I'll be fine. Don't hold up your own dishes on my account. Nothing's being held up. I'm finished already. Huh? Oh, right. Uh, th then I need to focus up and win this thing. There you go. That's the attitude we want. You're a very capable chef, Yen Xiao. So come on, show everyone what you're made of. Just like you showed us last time at Wang Xuan. Yes. You're right. I can do this. I can do this. Thank you, Xiangling. And thanks to your, um, well, thanks. <laughs> Time for me to get cooking. No one knows who Guoba is. Time's up! Both contestants have now finished cooking. I would like to invite them to present their dishes to the judges for evaluation. Judges of the select panel, I will now ask you to consider your votes carefully before writing them down and handing them to me. Also... The organizing committee has selected today's audience judges, and they are now evaluating the dishes. Everyone who's been lucky enough to sample today's dishes, please consider and cast your vote independently. Uh, how are we not involved in this? Why didn't they pick us to be judges? Paimon has buckets of passion and oodles of expertise when it comes to food. Uh, if they don't want Paimon, it's their loss. Oh. Calm down, Paimon. I'll cook the same dishes for you later. Evie! For all the chefs there are- Oh, shut up. Thank you all for waiting. All votes have been received and counted, and the results have been returned to Ningguang. Shang-Ling, I now Shang invite Ling, Ningguang Shang to take the Ling, floor Shang and announce Ling, the results Shang of the Ling. Masterful Chefs Finals. It is my pleasure to announce that the winner of the Masterful Chefs Finals is- Shang-Ling. <laughs> Shangling! 
by a mere one vote margin. Xiangling! Wow! <laughs> what? How is it so close? Yan Xiao is a great chef, too. Oh, well, there it is. <sighs> I knew it. It was a close contest, but we have a winner. Liu Harbor's Xiangling has beaten Dihua Marsh's Yan Xiao by just one vote. There can only be one winner, but the fact that this was so close shows just how much both of these outstanding chefs managed to impress our judges. Thank you both for your stellar contributions here today. Please exit the venue in an orderly fashion, and remember to take all of your personal belongings with you. Come on, let's go over and take a look. Bye, hotties. Why are you looking like that? Why are you looking like that? It's a little suspicious, Kaching. Traveler, Paimon! Thanks for coming! Did you get to try the food? Don't even go there! Paimon's still peeved! <laughs> I can't believe it! You well, didn't we get been picked! Biased. Well, never mind. Don't get mad. I'll make some more for you when we get back. You will? Uh, the organizer said that Yen Xiao and I need to go register our delivery addresses. Apparently, they're gonna deliver an exclusive ingredients package and the prize money at a later date. So I need to get moving. I'll come find you guys after. Ah, uh, Xiangling seems really happy. Good for her. Looks like Kuching and Ningguang left already. As the organizers, they must have gone to wrap up some last minute things. Let's go ask them for an update about the statue. You had a little suspicious look about you. What was that for? Ma'am? Ugh! What's wrong? Kuching, there you are! Oh. You found me. Why are you huh? sad? Is everything okay? Something is weighing on the jeans, mine. <laughs> Traveler, I have found myself in something of a predicament. Did you miscount? In the competition, I voted for Smiley Yenshao. So you're frustrated because you can't go back and vote for Xiangling instead? No, that's not it. As a judge, I had a duty to remain objective. I made my decision after thinking about it very carefully. And my conscience is clear. Xiangling is my friend. So by rights, I should be honest with her about this. It was those golden shrimp but, balls. But as you know, I voted based purely on my personal opinion. As a contestant, Xiangling may not be able to appreciate this. And I do not know how to deal with people of her temperament. <sighs> I just don't know how to break it to her. Ah, uh, it's no big deal. Just say However, comes naturally. Xiang Ling of all people isn't Ooh, bothered about that kind of stuff. And anyway, she still won in the end. Oh, hey, here you are. I've been looking for you for ages. Xiang Ling, there's something I need to tell you. Hmm? W what is it? My grandfather always said to me, in contests of food, always follow your heart. Which is to say that in gastronomical disputes, or indeed competitions, one must cast their vote for the party that they agree with. This decision must be based on one's honest thoughts, not influenced by any external factors. Of course, that was just my grandfather's opinion. But I have to say, I am inclined to think he had a point. So, despite the fact that I am your friend, I cast my vote for Smiley Yen Xiao's Adeptus Temptation. I think you mean the Golden Shrimp Balls. <laughs> well, maybe it was. I like Golden Shrimp Balls. Is that a problem? <laughs> you were acting so serious that I honestly thought something was up. It's fine. Doesn't bother me one bit. You have a strong sense of responsibility, Kuching. But you know, not everything is always about responsibility. Yes, you're a Qixing, but you're also you, Kaching. When you're with friends, you don't need to think about everything so thoroughly. You know that's what Ningguang's like, right? 
Beidou is always telling me about how well she gets along with Ningguang. They even play chess aboard her ship sometimes. <laughs> so you see, Ningguang's kind of bold in that she doesn't let her identity and reputation get in the way of her ability to have a good time. You can take a leaf out of her book. Outside of work, it's time to let go and relax. I just want to say, she mentioned Ningguang and Beidou playing chess and going aboard uh, her ship. They're gay. They're not just playing chess. They're playing with other things. Anyway, Xiangling is right on the money. Traveler, Xiangling, I... Uh, anyway, what are we standing around here for? Let's go and check on the status of the Stove God statue. Hello, Stove God. How strange. It hasn't changed one bit. This doesn't make any sense. We cooked our hearts out. Does this mean the competition wasn't enough to awaken the statue? Oh well, I suppose it was simply not meant to be. There's still time, don't lose hope. Yeah, we've waited this long already. There's no harm in waiting a little longer. Right, Xiangling? Yep, there's still time. Let's be patient. We'll all see this through together. On another note, I have some good news for you, Kuching. Things are looking optimistic for that recipe you gave me. Master came by before the competition and filled in the parts that were missing. So now I'll be able to cook it. In fact, I'll go find somewhere to make it right now. Wait here. Xiangling. Oh, uh, and Traveler, could you come with me? Sure. Uh, you only just beat Smiley and Chow. You think you're up for challenging us already? My eyes glowed a little bit. I'm something of a kitchen god myself. Obviously not what I meant. You collect recipes, don't you? I thought you'd probably be needing this dish during your travels, so I figured I'd share it with you. Aww. Oh! Right! Paimon knew that. <laughs> Sheesh, we totally misread that situation. I didn't think she wanted to challenge us, but that's you. Who am I kidding? Shang Ling's the real kitchen queen. Uh -huh. Jeez, careful eating your words so fast, you'll give yourself heartburn. Ooh, that side eye. What are you staring at me for? Go on, go get on with your cooking. It's me, your girlfriend. Hello. I hope you are doing well. Alright, bye-bye. Hello, Kuching. Kuching. Oh, ooh, Kuching on Kuching action. Oh. oh, they're so cute. Uh -huh. It's done! So this is what the dish from the recipe looks like! Let's go give it to Kuching! Oh, I almost fucking died. Hello, it's me again. You. We're back! Boba! The Traveler and I made one each. Here, have a taste while it's still warm. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> huh? What is it? What does that face mean? Is this your new favorite I... dish? This flavor... I've tasted it before. Uh, Kuching. Uh, apologies. Xiangling, Traveler, thank you both. This is everything I had hoped it would be. It tastes wonderful, and... Quite amazingly, somehow it took me right back to my childhood. When my grandfather was still around. Really? That's awesome! I didn't have a chance to fully explain before. In fact, when Master had filled in the missing parts of the recipe for me, I realized that I already knew how to make this dish. You already knew? You mean you were able to make this without ever seeing the recipe? Uh-huh. My dad taught me how to make it. Wait, but isn't this dish from Kuching's grandpa's notes, though? Are you guys About related? That, I do not believe that this recipe oh. was my grandfather's creation. My grandfather was a well-known real estate tycoon in Liyue, and also a scholar. He was an avid collector of old books and was quite knowledgeable on many of Liyue's customs and traditions that are no longer practiced. As a child, I used to spend a lot of time with him in his study. We'd read the classics together, then debate how much of it was actually genuine, and whether Rex Lapis was real or not. He used to say, books are just a bridge that bring us a little closer to history. It's up to those of us in later generations to ask these questions, search for the answers, 
and decide what they mean. Since then, my grandfather has passed on, and I've grown up to become a Chi-Sing. My views on Rex Lapis have changed in this time too, from myth to reality. For me, the name Rex Lapis is inextricably wound up with memories of my grandfather. Whenever I see his name written down, it always reminds me of sitting in my grandfather's study, seeing all of his notes. As I said earlier, this recipe came from those same notes. It's an ancient dish that he was trying to restore to its original form, but unfortunately, without the full recipe, he never quite succeeded. Still, each time he tried cooking it, he'd always get me to have a taste while it was still warm. <sighs> the memories. This really is the taste of my childhood. Ancient she had a ratatouille dish? moment, oh my god. A cornbread bun's really that old? Well, at least in my family it is. My dad learned how to make it from his dad, and supposedly it's been passed down that way for generations. We call them chili mince cornbread buns. They're a traditional folk food snack, easy to pack up and take with you on the road. So they're the perfect thing to eat on the go. La, la, la. Thank you for your input. <laughs> Seeing Guoba just reminded me of something. I actually made this dish on the day I first met Guoba. Aww. How did you first meet? It was in a cave in the mountains. I ducked inside to get out of the rain and saw an offering table in there. So I put the cornbread buns I brought with me on it. Then I ended up falling asleep, and when I woke up, I found out that Guoba had eaten every last one! Guoba followed me around ever since. We're practically family now. Hold up! Stop the conversation! Look! The, the stone! It burst open! Guoba is the stove it's, god. <laughs> it's... Is that Guoba? Guoba? What are you... What? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see the chili mince cornbread buns have been served. Master! Granny, look! The, the Snow God statue looks just like Guoba! Oh, indeed it does. After all, Guoba is the deity you've been searching for. God of the stove. Guoba, wow. Guoba is a god? You were standing uh, before yeah. a god. You asked me if a sufficiently festive atmosphere would be enough to reawaken the stove god. And my answer is this. Yes. And no. The stove god has always been a deity with great affection for the people, and who acts in response to their desires. To him, the heart's passions and the heart's desires are not the same thing. Yo, this is why Xiang Ling is so OP. It's because of motherfucking Guoba. She had an Archon with her this entire time and we did not know it. The reason why Xiang Ling is at the S rank tier is because of Guoba. Yes, her Pyronado is bomb as hell, but Mr. Guoba, he's the one that was... He's, he's the one who gave her that power. <laughs> Passion can be a technique, a skill, something derived from experience. But desires, they are deeper, more innate. They are the heart strength in its purest form. Masterful chefs is wonderfully exciting, but it is more an exercise of passion than of desire. And passion alone will not suffice to reawaken the stove god from his deep slumber. But just now, when Kuching ate this dish he had longed for, a deeply held desire was fulfilled. As well as receiving an answer to her question, she also gained something much more precious. A moment of poignant nostalgia so vivid, it felt like she was right there alongside her grandfather. The enormous power unleashed by the fulfillment of this desire resonated with the Stove God statue and caused it to manifest once more the form it took in the past. Of course, the Stove God himself is not contained within the statue. <laughs> the true Stove God has been here with us all along. Oh my fucking God. Uh, hello. How does it feel seeing a statue of yourself from your glory days? Ah, look at him. Still so majestic. Aww. 
Oh, glory days. Wait, what happened? Did Groba used to be different from now? Oh, yes. Back in his day, your Gwoba was once the patron god of the soil. But all the wisdom and power he had then, he has since surrendered to the soil itself. A god surrendering their power to the soil. I have heard this turn of phrase before, but what does it mean? The kinds of trials and tribulations that a land can face are far more than you could imagine. Droughts, floods, torrential rain, hurricanes, earthquakes, tsunamis, fires, and plagues. The threat of disaster will never fully disappear from Liyue. Even woes that have never been faced before in history will come to pass in the future. Such things affect you mortals far more than we Adepti, with our immortal forms. He wants walked with you over the barren plains until you arrived at last at the harbor. He joined you in building your dwellings and lighting the stoves. It was his hand that lit the very first street lamp of Liyue and brought the aroma of cooked food into every household in the land. You mortals no longer remember him, but back in the age when you did, he was the closest of all the Adepti to the common folk. Machosius, god of the stove, born from a spark when stone struck what stone. The fuck? He was a god <laughs> with a great love for humanity Guoba. and their well being. Millennia ago, the people sought to expand their city. They built a dwelling on the plains and called it the Gwaili Assembly. The stove god cared greatly for the people, turning himself into minions who went into every home, fostering food and solidarity alike. Alas, their home was taken by a flood. The waters ravaged the Gwaili assembly and forced the people back south to Liyue Harbor. Though the distance was not far, the so journey pretty. was plagued by a terrible storm. For a dozen days, the Adepti stayed by their side. During this time, the stove god cooked an ancient delicacy, flatbread with a meat sauce to stave off the cold and damp, fit for those on the move. Centuries later, disaster and plague arose once more. The stove god would appear no longer, for he placed all of his power into the land itself to quell the calamities. His power expended and his wits greatly reduced, thus his body decreased in size. By the time he parted ways with us, he wasn't even the height of a human. He told Rex Lapis and I of the dishes that bring joy and of the secrets of the flame, then went into the mountains and entered into a long slumber. Oh, so cute. The stove god departed and Guoba was born. When he awoke, he ate the chili men's cornbread buns placed on the offering table by a young lady in yellow. Though he did not remember the past, he was profoundly moved and decided to follow this young lady thereafter. The stove god had quietly disappeared, but the vendors rose early to hawk their wares. People went out to buy goods, lit their stoves and cooked food, just as they had done every day for as long as they could remember. In Liyue, things have always been this way. Nature provides, the mountains rejoice, we are blessed by heaven's good grace. That Madam Pain? Years have gone by. The world has transformed, but our way of life survives. Oh, it's Young Hu Tao and Sing Cho Fame and fortune is only a season. It is the moment that we should embrace. Oh, is that the new five-star that might possibly come? 
past meets present. Heritage becomes legacy. Long into the, the future, traveler may finally we upgraded from the dull blade. I think that's Skyward Pride. Oh my god, I can hear my cat. Told me that dining is the profoundest of customs in the human world. To eat well is to consume vitality itself. And to drink well is to partake of the very essence of the world. I'm gonna go get my cat. This is my globa. Everyone wants to see your beautiful face, Willow. Oop, sorry. That was me. She's so cute. She won't look... There we go. You're so cute. I love you, Willow. Bye-bye. It is a matter of paramount importance, you said. For people cannot face the arduous journey ahead on an empty stomach. At once a humble affair and a profound one. A humble meal of maize and spring water is also profound in that. By ensuring one's survival, it paves the way for millennia of human history and culture to come. My dear friend, Liu has changed so much while you have slept. Looking at the prosperity and beauty around us today, does it make you happy? Goba, this is kind of a huge deal. Why didn't you say anything? I don't think he can uh, talk. He... he is not who he once was. Even the power of speech evades him now. There is no way he could have told you. Oh. Goba, but... but... Xiangling. Mm. Do not be saddened, Xiangling. There are two sides to everything. Guo Ba may have lost many of his formal faculties, but he is now as carefree as can be, without a single worry in the whole world. In this world we inhabit, who can truly be said to live a life free of all woes? Those with a mind and with the knowledge will certainly be troubled by all manner of things. But he has gone further than us in his journey. He had both wisdom and courage. Everything he took upon himself, he was also ready to part with. His carefree demeanor today is a testament to the fact that he is at rest. So since you are his friend, take good care of him. Go out to walk and play. Allow him to eat, drink, and be merry. I will! You can count on me! Xiangling, you have an adeptal affinity. Guoba follows you around because he has respect for you. The moment he awoke, he was met with a familiar flavor in the chili mince cornbread buns he ate. After all that time, he still recognized the dish he had invented. And he approved of you as the one who had cooked it. That's right. The taste of one's home cuisine always brings back memories of home. Though he remembered nothing, eating the food you had cooked gave him a feeling of familiarity. That is why he stuck by you. You may be the first person in history to give the stove god the experience of being a satisfied customer. That makes you quite a remarkable chef. I love Xiangling's cooking, too. If that's true, I couldn't be happier. Because putting a smile on customers' faces is what we chefs are called to do. Well then, it's getting late and I still have things to do. Time for me to say goodbye. Traveler, Paimon, Xiangling, thank you all very much. I look forward to spending more time together in the future. Sounds good. We'll be waiting. My dad's probably heard the good news already, but I should still go catch up with him. Master, it's been a while since you came by. Why don't you join me? He thinks about you all the time, you know. He's always telling me to invite you over. Oh, goodness me. Then, far be it from me to refuse. Off we go, then. Let's saunter over gently and see how all the city folk are getting along. Go to the Bon Min restaurant. I cannot believe that this motherfucker nice and spicy. has been a god this entire time. 
Thank you, Grobo, for your service. Hi, Dad! I'm back! <laughs> hey, hey! What are you doing there? I should be the one handling that. <laughs> what do you see, Grobo? Look at her go. She's scratching. Good thing you're scratching that and not my fucking chair. Even though I've put like literally all my clothes on there. <laughs> We're gonna ignore that. Look who it is. <gasps> hmm? ah! Oh, it's you. Hello there, old friend. Oh my god, he's so fucking hot. <laughs> la, la, la. Oh my god, so cute. Oh, bless oh my, my soul. Are you out for a stroll as well? Given the season, it felt fitting to take a leisurely walk while the meal is being prepared. Oh my god. Quite right. And it also gave us the chance to run into you. Gwoba may not recognize you, but as ever, he seems quite delighted to see you. Oh my god, he's so sexy. So, Gwoba doesn't remember anything? But can still feel when something's familiar? Friendship will always withstand the ravages of time. I'm glad that you guys were friends and you didn't try to kill him like you did with every single other fucking Archon. Traveler, what do you think of the name of this festival? Moon Chase. Evocative and seasonal. The moon is a carrier of countless emotions. So many things only seem to surface as we gaze up beneath its poignant glow. Wherever the moonlight shines, the heart is wont to follow. Fond memories of those no longer with us. Debts of gratitude to old friends. The meaning of ages past and gone. All wrapped up in the city that has existed for so many moons to date. All these things and more. They are why people chase the moon. <laughs> in old age, the sight of many things puts one in a wistful mood. But children are always a beautiful sight to see. Such exuberant life force. It, it seems to well up from deep you within the You talk too slowly. Perhaps it is what to find Lee anyway. This moon chase festival has been all the more entertained now. You're welcome, I Let's am the entertainment. Let's have brew us a nice pot of tea. We shall drink and chat at our leisure. Bro, Xiangling is surrounded by gods and adeptus right now. Oh my god. Does she even know the power she holds? Oh my god, I literally started crying. I love John Lee so much. Hmm. Everyone's here to eat. What should I cook? <laughs> okay, that's cute. Can I see Mr. Shang John Lee? Or is it just okay? It's just Shang. It's just Shang Lee. No, Shang Lee. <gasps> Why did they have to make him so sexy? Mm. The food at Wan Min restaurant is excellent. I eat here often. Ah, oh, you can say that again. Xiang Ling is a remarkable child. Surely the culinary talent of the century. <laughs> Indeed. To have mastered the craft at her age lends credence to the old aphorism that heroes are made young. Oh my god. He's... <sighs> if only I had child. I actually have Kaya. And I kind of ship them. Oh my god, the height difference is kind of cute. Anyway, Guava, well, do you have anything to say? Oh, oh shit. You can shit. <laughs> shit. I didn't mean to do that. Oh my god. Everyone's talking at once, and I don't appreciate it. Okay. Well, um, if you have made it this far, I would just like to say thank you so much for watching. Um, I really enjoyed this event. It was really cute. Um, I loved seeing my husband at the end. So sexy. It was, quite, it was the highlight of my life. Highlight of the year, to be honest. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye! 
Actually, I kind of want to see if this team is any good. I doubt it. However, I would like to see it. An action. Oh my god, why does she do no fucking damage? This team is bad. I swear I had this bitch build. What? What? Oh. That's why. I gotta go. Okay, now I fucked up everyone's artifacts, so now I have to like unfuck them.